Hey guys, EBP Man here and welcome to my backyard. In today's video, we're gonna talk about pool tech and how I keep the water chemistry of my pool in check so that the family can enjoy it throughout the summer periods here in Chicago. Specifically, we're gonna take a look at the fin. Uh, the fin is a monitor that will monitor your pool chemistry and let you know real time with just an alert if something has changed. Let's check it out. Now in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can make uh, pool ownership simple and easy, actually enjoyable. Regardless if you have an above ground or an in-ground pool, if you have a pool that's based off of chlorine or if it's based off of a salt water system. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it really comes down to one simple thing, and that is maintaining your water chemistry. Having a clear pool, having a clean pool makes the pool more enjoyable, and if your water chemistry is off, it could become very expensive, but at the same time, if you maintain your water chemistry, it could be relatively error-free and also very, very cost-efficient. So today, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna take a look at the fin, and the fin, fin is a salt water care system that simplifies how you maintain the water chemistry in your pool. Not only are we gonna do this review, and I'm gonna share with you why I have it in my pool, but we're also doing a giveaway. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, before going into the actual review of the product, I just wanna share some details of my pool. So I have an in-ground uh, saltwater-based uh, pool, 10,000 gallons, and I also have a special pump that is low voltage that is constantly circulating the water in my pool. So my, my pump never turns off, but it's running at a very low RPM during the day, and then it's a high RPM at night. And that keeps uh, my water consistently chlorinated and also balanced with the salt water system. Now, this is how this works and this is how I combine my pool system with the system. So today we're looking at the fin and it's a small water care for both pools and hot tubs. And like I said, you could have it for a chlorinated pool or you can have it for a salt water chlorinated pool. Depends on how you want to, what type of pool you have, it works with both, right? And you can see it right here. So it says it either works with chlorine or salt. Now, it's a pretty simple solution. It, all you have in the pool is this fin, as you saw in the opening video, um, and then you have your smartphone. And it's Wi-Fi enabled, so you do have a bridge that you keep plugged into your home that connects to the actual uh, fin itself. Um, it is temperature monitoring, and you'll see it because it's gonna tell you what the current temperature is. I have a really sunny backyard uh, based on how our house is and how it faces. I typically have sun uh, most of the day and even into the, to the late hours of the day. So I have a really good position. It's gonna do a chemical monitoring. It's gonna tell you and alert you if the water is safe to go into uh, and the type of dosing that you should be able to um, consider in order to keep your water balanced, right? Um, if we look at the side here, everything that's included, and you'll see that you have a smart monitor, the Wi-Fi bridge, a calibration kit, a mobile app, and this does require a subscription, but the first year you get that as part of the purchase. Now, in addition to the fin unit that's in the pool right now, you're gonna have a bridge, and you've noticed that I have that connected currently uh, so that you can see how the application and the fin work together. You have some testing strips that you'll use to occasionally test your pool just to make sure that the fin is calibrated. And then you have this little chart here, and this is the chart that you'll use. Uh, everything is, is picture-based. So what you'll be doing uh, with this chart here is you'll be putting your test strip on it, and then it's going to, uh, you'll take a picture and it's gonna send it to the a server that's going to analyze and determine uh, what the pool chemistry is based on that test trip uh, during your calibration period. Now the Smart App is available both on iOS and Android, and in this case I have it on my Android phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, and I've already had the, the fin in the water, it's been calibrated, and it's starting to give me information. So notice right here that it's saying that it's not red because it could be in three states, um, one that everything is okay, one that it needs attention, and then one is don't get in the water. And that's great that you can see that really clearly. And in this case, it's saying, hey, notice that your pool water is not balanced. Your water chemistry is a little bit off and there's one action needed. Uh, this is, for me, um, a good sign because if it had more than one action, then I had something to worry about. Uh, also, you'll notice that it's giving me my pool water temperature. Because I have such a bright area in my backyard, the sun comes down, my pool water is typically really warm. I do have a heater, but I really don't have to heat it in the summer because of the direct sunlight that I have. So as we go into this area here, what you'll notice is it's giving me all the information I need to see about the actual uh, water chemistry, what's going on. Telling me that I have uh, one action required, the, the temperature, the fin simulation that it's floating and everything is good. 
And then it's telling me that my pH is, uh, is out of balance, right? And it says that I have to add pH down. Now, uh, it was last updated seven hours ago, right? So when I tap on this, what I can do is I can look at, hey, it says not just to lower the pH, but it's telling me exactly how much I have to lower. So one of the things that you could do is if you already have pH in your home, uh, that's, that's something that you could use. You could order it, you can buy it, but it's giving you exactly what you need to do. And then what we'll do is after you um, go through this process and you've indicated that, you'll, that you've done the pH down, it's gonna uh, do another test. Uh, here you can see that it also um, has more information that I can look at. Um, this is based on the, uh, the, test script, the, test, um, the test strip scan that I did a couple days ago. It says that five days ago I did a, um, a test, and this is what my, uh, my readings were based on that calibration card and the test strip. And if you're a pool owner, you already know this, right? You take that little test strip, you put it in the pool of water for a couple seconds, you take it out, and then you see where things are and you make your adjustment. Now, one of the benefit of this system is that it's going to give you history. It's going to give you a history of your overall water chemistry, which is really important when you're trying to diagnose and balance out your pool chemistry. Uh, if you go into this area here, what you're going to do is you're going to see how your pool chemistry has been since the fin has been in the water. In my case, I put it in on Monday um, as I've been testing out the unit, and you'll notice um, what my water chemistry has looked like, and you'll notice that there's some changes there. It's gone up and it's gone down somewhat. We've had some harsh rains here in Chicago, so that may be what's driving kind of like the changes that you see there. But you'll notice that I've been teetering between uh, balanced and unbalanced. Over here, you'll notice on the sanitizer side, uh, so the pH is, is where I have to give it attention. On the sanitizer side, I'm doing well. You notice that that hasn't changed. And again, that variation that you see there is probably gonna be due to the overall changes that we've seen with, uh, with rain, and, and we've had some heavy rains. Mm -hmm. I also then have something that's monitoring my temperature, and you can see how my temperature's been going up and down. And uh, in Chicago, even during these times, even though we're in summer, uh, it does get cold at times. So what we've been seeing is uh, just a change in overall temperature. And again, you can see See this uh, in either a day, month, or a week view. Now, in addition to that, you do have in your settings area all your configurations where you detail uh, things about your pool. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Finn Smart Water Care Solution. Let me know what you thought about this product. Make sure you participate in the giveaway, and I'll see you in the next one.